What can I do? Just try to keep talking to the media, I guess. Keep things positive. Keep it focused on Kaylee. That needs to be the main focus. Is there anything else that, that you want to say directly to me at all? Just that I wish that none of this would have ever happened. I really wish that none of this would have ever happened. Well, we all feel that way, and I know we're all just given a lot right now, and we have to keep on being strong and knowing that we've got to bring you and we've got to bring Kaylee home. And I mean, we know where you're at. I don't want to see you here. I don't want you here. But yeah, but in some ways, I almost feel more protected here than if I were on the outside. Well, I guess there's some truth in that, but you know. Once we get that little girl home, which I hope is today, you know, I, I, it, the stuff with the, with you, it's not going to be easy to get through, but at least we'll have you out also. And that's, that's as the long as we thing. have Kaylee home, everything else with me we'll deal with as we can. Lee made a good point. Getting Kaylee home is our priority. Everything else will fall into place after that. And that's the truth. Okay. Well, you got to know that mom and I worry about you being here. I know, but I'm under protective custody. I'm in my own cell. I'm right across. I mean, I'm literally within four steps from where their little station is in here. So I'm being watched at all times. Okay. When was the last time you talked to Mr. Baez, if I might ask? Wednesday night. Today's Friday. Wednesday. Okay. okay. Have you ever thought about even just reaching out to the guys at the sheriff's department, just talking to them? The few times that I have, Dad, you've seen what's blown up in my face. They've misconstrued things that I said to them, resources that I gave them that they haven't used. So, in all honesty, is as much as I'd like to at the moment, if I'm going to, it won't be an in-person conversation. It won't be an over-the-phone conversation. It will be in writing. So there's no way of them twisting my words or saying that I didn't give them information. Well, do you have access to a phone and stuff every day or, or not? No, there needs to be money put, I guess, in an account for me so I can make calls that have to be collect calls. Well, you know, you can call us. We'll accept the charge. No, I understand that, but I'm saying I think there still has to be money in an account for me to be able to make any calls from what I've been told. It's our okay, mom so to keep breathing. So, so you need some money so you can make outside calls? As far as I know, yes. You'll have to ask somebody more information on that. Okay. Well, talk to Mom one second. Is there any messages to anybody that you want me to give? Do you want me to tell Annie anything, Tony tell, anything? Tell Amy that I'm sorry. Okay. Um... Tell Ryan I appreciate all of his help. If you could ask him to come, if he gets a chance to come in town, I don't know if he's going to be able to. Um, okay. Okay. I mean, just tell the rest of the what family that I, What the hell is there to say to him? I mean, it took a friend of mine that I haven't seen in at least four years, haven't talked to in maybe longer than that, someone from high school to come and see me and he hasn't made any effort, won't talk to Jose, you know, when I sent even a specific note. I mean, I would like to, to reach out to him, to talk to him, but at the same time, my concern is you guys. Okay. How about Jesse? He's been real close. Is there anything you want me to tell Jesse? I would like Jesse to stay as far away from you guys as possible. I'm saying that wholeheartedly and as calmly as possible. Okay. I don't know how much I trust him right now, and I even told Lee that. Lee's going to investigate a few people for me. I, I, In my gut, I don't know if I can trust him. Okay. Well, I've been thinking that all along, but I've told the deputies my feelings. Jose and I had a couple conversations about that. We've talked about that multiple different times, actually. Does he know Zanny? To the best of my knowledge, no, but quite possibly. Okay. Has 
Jesse ever watch Kaylee in the last month or so while he was off work? No. Okay. The last time he watched Kaylee was at his parents' house when she was a baby. So that was oh. 2006. Okay. You know, his dad has been trying to reach out to your dad. His mom sent Lee an email and to tell us that they... As much as the differences that they had with you, they still know that you're a good mom and that, um, you know, they want Kaylee back as well. So I want well, you to I, know that. I appreciate that. I mean, coming from his family, yes, that, that means a lot. As far as Jesse as an individual is very questionable for me. Okay. Very, very questionable. Things from his parents that I can... Hey, I, have I a guess question. honestly say I appreciate it. Yes. Your Tiffany ring? Mm -hmm. Your little heart ring? Where is it? I don't know. I haven't seen it for a long time. And who gave you that ring again? I forget. Jeff. Okay. Um, we can't find Jeff. Lee actually has more information on stuff like that. He said okay. that he he knows information about him, about Juliet, about other people. Okay. Dee or Daisy or whatever her name is from Kodak called and said to tell you she loves you and she knows you're okay. She just called me. She'll be coming into town. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Um, are we Tom Frank or Tom Manley? Because There's they had a Tom, Tom Man Frank and a Tom Manley. I've, <laughs> again, information when I had spoken to people even directly at Universal. Now, Frank is the one, last email that you got that you showed yes. me. Now, why did they put in the police report? Um, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just wondering. So this is what I'm I saying. Information specifics that I had given them. Do you think I could get Mike's help? Kozak? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I haven't spoken to Mike in quite a long time. But he knew a lot of these people, didn't he? He might have. I don't know. Okay. All right. Um, have you guys heard from Earl at all? No. Meredith, my first manager. No. 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 I don't know how to get in touch with him either. He had a MySpace. You might be able to find it on my friends list. You know how? Um, I check MySpace. I don't know your MySpace pa password. Do you know the email for it? Is it Casey L. Marie? With I'll spell it for you. Yeah. K A Y S E E O M A R E E at cfl dot rr dot com password is okay. the same as my facebook account it's timer t-i-m-e-r five five do you know who that um on your myspace friend who god what the heck's his name marky mark yeah that's mark hawkins oh that's Charlie Brown. That's Mark Hawkins. Okay, well, I, it didn't look like Mark. That's why. Because someone thought that person looked familiar, one of the witnesses. It's Mark. Okay. Okay. He, he hasn't seen Kaylee or has anything related Mark's to this. on the West Coast, no. Right. Mark is one Did of those people that I trust. Did you, did you stop by and see his mom a week before all this happened? We ran into each other at Target out at Waterford. Do you think she could share anything with me? I don't know what she'd be able to share. We talked just okay. quickly in passing, and it was about Mark. Okay, I just didn't know. I just thought maybe I could ask that, and that might be a yes or no question you could answer to me. There's no. I don't think there's anything that anyone okay. would know. Okay. Um, um, silver car, correct? Or color car? Silver Ford Focus. 
2008 four door the windows aren't tinted it's very basic there's a pink floral car seat on the right passenger side in the back seat that's the car seat that she's had for Kaylee and that's why Kaylee doesn't none that's of her why, stuff's missing from the house because she's got everything she has everything She's always had shoes, socks, diapers, clothes, toys. I mean, you name it. Who else did she ever nanny for before besides Jeff that you're aware of? No one that I know of. He's the only person that I knew of. Okay. I know she'd watched her nephews and her niece. Um, outside of that, I don't know if there was anyone else. And she definitely watched Annabelle. Definitely watched Annabelle on several occasions. Okay. Oh, where did you take Kaylee to get her hair cut? I never took Kaylee anywhere to get her hair cut. That's why when I heard that, that was complete bullshit. The only time Kaylee's gotten her hair cut has been at the house. When well, I about, did it or when you did it. I know that. Well, we're, who's your beautician? Who's the, the last person? Your... No one colored my hair. I did my hair last. Okay. No one so. has touched my head since the first week of April after my 21st birthday last year. Okay. That was the last person that cut my hair. So I'm just wondering where that pain. came from. Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering where that came from. Okay. Is there anything else you need me to know or to check on for you? Um, I already told Lee to check my phone records. Keep checking that. Go back through even... Um, MySpace stuff. There could be something. Is there any on particular MySpace. day for sure that you know we need to track this back to? As far as what, Mom? What specifically? The, the last day you saw Kaylee. The 16th. No, I thought Tara said her and Kaylee spoke on the phone on the that week. Tara? Tara from Michigan. You mean I Mark's mean. psycho ex wife, Tara? Yes. She has not even spoken to me since probably the end of May, at least. And there goes the TV. Lovely. Five minutes. Is that an error? Our session will end in five minutes. Casey? Five minutes, I know. I have not spoken with Tara in well over two months. Okay, she said that she had a 13-minute conversation. No, 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 not 13. That was someone else. That she had over an hour conversation with you. She was having issues. Yes, exactly, like two months ago. I haven't talked to her since then. Well, she you said can it was check, just a few weeks ago. You can check the number on no, no, my no. call records. Don't get upset. I'm just no, saying. No, I'm, I'm just telling you. She's saying that I, I know what she spoke saying. to each other. Okay. The babies never spoke to each other. I never even put Kaylee on the phone. Don't well, listen. Mom, no, Casey, I'm not getting I'm mad not at you. I, I know. know you're not. Listen. People like Tara, people like Jesse, who are maybe trying to help, even Christina, God bless her, don't know what the hell they're talking about. They may have talked to me within the last few months or have seen me within the last, oh, I don't know, year. And we'll say, oh, yeah, this was during this such and such time because we're trying to help. I know. Well, Mom, this is why stuff's getting misconstrued. Words are getting put in my mouth. You have I my phone records. I just wanted to confirm that. I wanted no, to I have not that. spoken with Tara. You can look okay. up her number. I believe Whatever you. the Michigan thing is, whatever. Okay, now we only have five minutes. What else do you want me to check on? I thought they were giving us extra time. I don't know. That's only five minutes in this session. Oh, I know, and it'll cut off when we have one minute left, and then we'll get our last minute. Um, I'm fine. Okay. I want you guys to know that I'm eating to the best of my ability. I miss real food. I miss. I know. I haven't cooked in any of this. People be bringing food to the house. If I list names, is there anybody? that I could, may have an insight. Lee and I already went over this. He okay. had a whole list of people that, okay. whether or not he should even bother talking to them, people okay. he should look into. Were you ever intending on going to Puerto Rico? 
yeah, at the beginning of the year, and we had talked about stuff progressively throughout the last few months. Who made the reservations? There was never a reservation made for me. I was going to make my own reservation. Everyone right, was buying Who made tickets. everybody's? Who made Everyone everybody's? Was, nobody was making reservations. We were all going to be buying our tickets as we could or as we wanted to, and we're going to be staying at JP's family's apartment or his apartment down there. Okay. I Okay, I thought it was... Um... No. Okay. There was nothing that was pre-scheduled months in advance. We were all waiting to buy tickets, if we were going to buy tickets, things of that nature. Yeah, because Amy's flight number was written on a piece of paper in your handwriting. Yeah, I know, because I was picking her up. Okay. I needed to know her flight information for when I was going to get her from the airport. That makes sense. Yeah, and just like the menus that you found at the house, the breakfast, lunch, and dinner, that was my list. That was my stuff. I wanted to start waking up at 5 a.m. working out. If it was for Kaylee, there had been waffles listed, mini pancakes, little things that she liked. I would never feed her a bagel with eggs. She likes and bagel and eggs and cream cheese and that kind of stuff. So do I. We're like okay. the same little tiny person. You know, she's almost my size anyway. But it was all health food, was it not, on those lists? It was healthy stuff. So it was one thing Jose asked me three or four times about the menus. Got one minute. I know. What do you want to say to us? That I love you. And that I miss you. And, you know, you and guys stay as strong as possible. We are, Casey. Our whole life's turned upside down looking for this little girl. I know. Trust me, if I could be out there with you, I would be in a heartbeat. Trying to help take the strain off of you, trying to find her. That's all I want to do. We're going to see her little face again. I pray to God every day that we do. Casey.